Hey guys, uh, it's Victor Isibo once again. Uh, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I just want to quickly make an update about LuckyFootball1.com. Uh, first of all, all videos uh, about making money online opportunities come with disclaimers. And here's the disclaimer on this. I'm not an investment advisor. Okay? Whether I put a referral link on my video or not, you are responsible for your own financial decisions. Okay? I shall not be responsible for any profit you make or any losses you make as a result of interacting with my content. Okay? I can say that a platform is legit and I'm not investing in it. And I can say that the platform is not legit and I am investing in it. That's a personal decision for me. Okay? And um, what the purpose of this channel is not to tell you to invest or not to invest. It is to acquaint you with the risk involved in any platform. You can come to my neighborhood now to come and look for a girl to marry. And I see you with a girl and I tell you, this girl is hot-tempered. I'm not telling you not to marry her. I'm only letting you know that this is the problem she has so that you'll be able to handle her very well. You want to borrow my car to travel and I tell you, if you are running 120 kilometers per hour, my car will start overheating. And yet, I'm giving you the key. Because what I'm telling you is not to discourage you from using my car. I'm just letting you know. So when I say a platform is a Ponzi scheme or is high risk, it's not to tell you don't invest. It's just to acquaint you with the risk so that you know how to better handle it. Okay? Um, LuckyFootball1.com is still very healthy. And um, the, their withdrawals are good. Their deposits are having some issues. But they are good, generally. Everything is still okay with LuckyFootball1.com. But personally, because this is my community and I update you about the things I do uh, with online investments. In my last video, um, we talked about the risk associated with Lucky One Football, Lucky Football One, and um, the fact that I don't entirely trust the system. But that I feel that we can go in and make some money from it, you know, before have a clear cut exit strategy not investing your house rent or your feeding money and stuff like that so the system is still working fine but personally i have decided to cut ties with luckyfootball1.com because of their poor customer service if you are looking to build a team you know uh in luckyfootball1.com you are going to have a very terrible experience because they have poor customer service. People deposit money and it's taking too long for the money to reflect. If they talk to customer service, customer service says, meet your upline. If they are trying to withdraw and there's delay, they say, meet your upline. Okay, now, every upline has an upline. If my downlines come to me with a problem, I can as well escalate it to my own upline and she escalates it to her own upline. And uplines know they finish. So my downlines have an issue. They go to customer service. Customer service says that I, as the upline, is the one to help them solve it. I go to customer service. Customer service say it is my own upline that will help them solve it. My upline goes to customer service. Customer service says her own upline is the one that should go about solving it. Then what is the function of customer service? So it is very unprofessional, very unethical of LuckyFootball1.com customer service to be referring people to their uplines. Someone has deposited money is not reflecting on time and you're asking them to go to their upline. Did they deposit the money into their uplines account? What can the upline possibly do about a deposit that you as a company have failed to reflect in your system? So, in my last video, the referral link that was there for LuckyFootball1.com, I have yanked it off. Uh, if you are still relating, interacting with LuckyFootball1.com, as at the time of doing this video, they are still paying. But you're going to have challenges if you decide to refer people. Okay? So, that's the update I have on LuckyFootball1.com. They are still brand new. They just started. And their system is... Um, it's still okay, but it's not the best system. 
if you want to have any downlines. So I'll advise if you're registering for LuckyFootball1.com, register and don't refer anybody because the customer service is very poor, unresponsive, unresponsive, unprofessional and very unethical in their ways. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, give it a like, share it with everybody within the community. Till I see you in the next one, I'm Victor Sibor. It is bye for now.